In this step, we would want to understand what is unit testing and what is JUnit. Testing is typically done to make sure that the functionality of the application is as expected. This is to check whether the application is behaving as expected. In my experience, I've worked in a lot of projects and most of these projects have more than 1000 source files or sometimes it might be as big as 10,000 source files, 1 million lines of code in total. If you actually depend on deploying the application and testing it after deployment, then what would happen is you would be testing big, big chunks of functionality. If I build the entire application and deploy it and then test the entire application, then that becomes testing of the entire deployable. That is called screen testing. Unit testing is really different from that. Unit testing is testing a specific method or a class. Let's say there is a specific class. So inside this class, class one, there are a lot of methods. So there is method one, method two, method three, method four, and so on. Unit testing is writing individual tests for each of these methods. In some scenarios, you also write unit tests for a group of methods or you write unit tests for a specific class. But most of the times when you write unit tests, you are writing unit tests addressed at a specific method. JUnit is a framework which will help you to call the specific method and check whether the output is as expected. So let's say the method I'm talking about is doing a square and I need to pass a number to it. So I, let's say I would want to, uh, it's accepting an integer n and it returns, let's say, uh, another int back. In that case, the JUnit framework will allow you to call the square. So I'll say square of three and JUnit allows me to check, is it equal to nine? If it's nine, then the test will succeed. If it's not nine, then the test will fail. JUnit will allow me to call the square method with another input, let's say 12, and check whether the output is 144. So JUnit is a framework which helps us do unit testing. So unit testing is nothing but testing a specific method or a group of methods. One of the most important advantages of using unit testing and using JUnit to write your unit tests is that these are automated tests. So I can keep running these tests automatically any number of times. So once I have the source code, I can keep running the unit test every hour or whenever there is a change in the code. That would ensure whenever this test fail, I get notified. So if let's say square of three, the function is returning eight instead of nine, then this test would start failing and I would be notified. So I'll get an email saying, okay, this test is failing. Check why it's failing. So unit test falls under the suit of automation testing. The important thing about automation testing is that this can be run under continuous integration. It's very easy to keep running these tests all the time, whenever there's a change in code or at frequent intervals. The idea behind this step was to give you a quick introduction of unit testing and what JUnit does. If you did not understand a few things in this specific step, no problem. We'll help you understand JUnit much more in the next couple of steps. Until the next step, bye-bye.